the U.S. Army presents The Big Picture. This is an official film from the Office of the Chief of Information. Know your foe, the T-72 and you. This young man here is named Billy. Today, Billy is filling in for the gunner on an M60 tank guarding the folded gap. As a corporal, he is usually the driver. But he's only a few months away from becoming a sergeant and a gunner himself. How are you today, Billy? Just another day mining the gap. Are you sure? Maybe you should look over there, to the east. Do you see it? It's a whole platoon of Soviet tanks, and it looks like they're headed this way. Quick, you must get ready. Billy and his crewmates rush to their tank. The loader, in his haste, grabs the first round that he sees from the ready rack. As a tank commander, young men like Billy here will be counting on you to make the right decisions in the heat of battle. Their lives depend on it. Let's watch and see what Billy's commander decides to do. No, those are tanks. Gunner, Sabo, tank. Billy continues tracking the enemy tank while his loader replaces the heat round with a Sabo. But then, a flash! Billy's commander made the wrong decision, and it was his crew who had to pay for it. But it doesn't have to happen this way. If you know your foe, you can make the right decision. And you will. This is the T-72. She's not pretty, but the Soviets didn't design her so that you could take her to the prom. She's heavy but fast, and you sure don't want her to give you a 125mm kiss goodbye at the end of the night. If we went to war today, you might see all kinds of enemy vehicles. You probably already know that armored personnel carriers like the BTR or the BMP can be killed with heavy machine gun or heat rounds. You've been told by your instructors not to waste your Sabo tank killer rounds on these softer targets, but the scuttlebutt from your unit's rumor mill may have confused you about why this is important. Many soldiers incorrectly believe that the reason you don't fire your Sabos at personnel carriers is because you'll need every last Sabo for the enemy tanks. These soldiers think that firing a heat round against a tank is an easy way to get yourself killed when the shell bounces harmlessly off an enemy tank. This is not true. The real reason you've been trained not to fire your sabos at enemy personnel carriers is because the sabo round will overpenetrate their lighter armor, possibly going straight through the vehicle, neither exploding nor disabling any critical systems. Here we see a BRDM Soviet reconnaissance vehicle. These things are fast. If you see one in battle, it will likely be bouncing over rough terrain and your line of sight will be impeded by trees or other obstacles. Aiming a perfect shot will be difficult. When the M60 fires a Sabo round through the rear of the BRDM, notice how the Sabo goes all the way through. In this case, the engine was knocked out, but that gun is still active, and the crew is still alive to use it on you or your buddies. Now watch what happens when we use a heat round. Wow, that got him! Now let's talk about what Billy's commander should have done. This is what you will do if you ever find yourself facing the T-72, or any other Soviet main battle tank. First, Billy's commander never should have allowed his crew to let their guard down. When in the field, someone should maintain watch at all times. When you are in the field, keep your head on a swivel. Always be on the lookout for the enemy. If you let the enemy surprise you, it may be the last surprise you will ever get. Another mistake was when Billy's commander hesitated to fire on the T-72 with a heat round. The time it took to unload the heat round from the gun and reload with a Sabo was enough time for the enemy to knock them out. If Billy's commander had taken the time to know his foe, he would have known exactly where and how to hit the T-72 with a heat round. So, where do you need to hit the T-72 with a heat round? There are several weak spots you should look for. If the T-72 approaches you frontally with its gun aimed forward, the best target is the gunner's sight, which is located here, on the upper left side of the turret, your right side. Because this area is less well protected, it is easier to penetrate, and will result in an explosion inside the turret, killing the gunner directly, and killing or wounding any other crew members with shrapnel. But maybe the gun sight is too small for you to hit at long range, or the turret could be turned away from you. In this situation, you'll aim here, just below the turret on the tank's left side. A penetrating hit in this location will almost always detonate the ammunition stowed around the T-72's turret, causing a massive chain reaction. Now what you really want to do is catch the T-72 from the side. This is where they are most vulnerable. The best spot you can aim for is here, the area where the turret meets the hull. Any serious hit in this location is an excellent way to kill the T-72. Because the T-72 stows its ammunition in a circle around the turret up against the hole, not only is this area weaker armored than it could be, but a hit here will detonate the ammunition inside the tank, ripping her top clean off. Ain't that a sight. If for any reason your shots on this area are blocked, or you have trouble hitting this spot against a moving target, then aim for the tread to immobilize the T-72. 
This will make it easier for you or one of your buddies to finish her off with a second shot. If you catch the T-72 from the rear, you may be tempted to put a round through the engine. This is not a terrible idea, but sometimes the engine may stop the shot from killing the crew or disabling the gun. The surest way to kill the T-72 from this angle is once again to aim for the seam between the hull and the turret and detonate the ammunition. If you have a top-down angle, you may even be able to fire onto the top of the turret, especially around the gunner's hatch, which is another weak point. Remember, each vehicle has its weak points, even your own. So make sure that you know your foe so that you can minimize the danger to your own tank, too. Our fire control systems are superior to the enemy, but even a conscripted East German farmer can hit a sitting duck. Keep moving whenever possible. Avoid giving the enemy gunners an easy target. Avoid giving the T-72 side-on shots against your hull or turret. These can be deadly if they hit on the right spot. Now that you know your foe, it is your responsibility as a tank commander to spread the word to your crew and to the other men in your unit. That way, if the Soviets ever do decide to come through the gap, you'll be ready. This video has been made possible by in-game footage from Gunner Heat PC, featuring infantry scenes from Arma 3, produced by husband and wife gamers. Please like and subscribe for more quality gaming videos, and maybe someday a better voice actor.